coming for to carry me home. Sweet low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Duncan Teague. Duncan Teague was born in Kansas City, Missouri in the early 60s and now lives in Atlanta. Duncan is a diva <laughs> and a fierce one at that. He's also an AIDS activist. In this excerpt, he talks about being a diva, but also having no regrets about being a black gay man. How do you feel about the life choices that you made in light of being a black gay man? <laughs> My next door neighbor, who shall remain nameless, is Mexican there. I, his father was first generation, I think, but I'm not sure. His wife is a white lady from the South. And they have two beautiful children. And they've been very dear to me and David, but they just broke up. She moved to an apartment with the two children, Saturday and Sunday. And so I was comforting a straight man who's coming to terms with what he's going to have to do to get his family and his family back or get his life in order so that he can be happy with himself, his wife, and his children. <laughs> and whatever I've done, I've never ended up in that predicament. <laughs> and I came home to my lover of 11 years tonight, and I've never been so fucking grateful in my life. That I don't have that level of hurt and needing to know what to do to get my life back together again. At least at this particular point in time, I'm happy with at least the current decisions I've made. Staying with David, going back to be with David, living with David, marrying David. All in opposition to all the stuff that I've been brought up to believe in. Building a home with David. A home that we welcome family into. I've had cousins here. I've had my stepmother here. And they love him. Yeah. I can't say I'm proud of every decision that I made for it, but at least by some miracle, and I do mean it was a miracle because we weren't always younger and we were prettier. <laughs> <laughs> but I've made some decisions that have allowed me to be negative of HIV because the, the be, because the epidemic, because my status has not prevented me from being infected and affected in other ways. Some might say I might be crazy. I might say that someday. But at least, the, I think the big decision early on about around going ahead and being black and gay, not something else, but being black and gay was the big one that I'm most proud of. I haven't been married to a woman. I have a relationship with men. They didn't work. But I love them. I've loved men as fully as I possibly could, and I've loved women as a gay man, not as a straight man, and I feel like I've been rewarded for that. I've, I've lived a full life, baby. And if this tape were to get struck by lightning, and I were to accidentally get struck too, because it would be an accident, <laughs> you know the memorial service is going to be conducted. <laughs> And you won't just print in the program black and gay, but you know, if you have to print in there, kind of sissified. <laughs> a little soft around the edges. And occasionally a vicious mistake. Yeah. Wow. And sometimes they drag. And sometimes pretty in drag. And not just in drag either. Wow. I about that. I'm glad you asked me that. And took my sense of faith, whatever that was, this week with me too, and hung on to that and questioned it. 
You know, I don't need to be strangled by anything. So no, I have no regrets. For well, you see, I am blind. <laughs>